Good morning, this is Julie at J Auto Trading Strategies, and today I want to show you a strategy that was presented to um, the recruits at Top Step Trader on Friday for the uh, featured weekly uh, presenter who was Jim Savage of the Savage Trader. And um, Jim trades very similar to the way I trade using the high, low, open and close in his trading setup with pivot points. He uses pivot points and I use pivots and Fibonacci, but very similar open, high, low, close, uh, and other technical trading levels to make a decision on um, how to enter and exit the market. And basically he waits for price to close at a current high low or a previous high low or a previous open um, close location and then cross that um, linear regression simultaneously and then that will trigger a trade and he he will know to go ahead and enter um, in this um, example on his website you see that the bars were going up and down up and down up and down um, giving you false signals all at this location so you would been you would have been whipsawed and that's why i've been able to um take bloodhound and very very easily um improved i believe his strategy and i'd like to show you that um first let's take a look at the rules and disclosures um Futures trading contains substantial risk and is not for every investor. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. And the hypothetical performance disclaimer. Um, hypothetical performance results have many inherent limitations and um, no representation is being made that your account will or is likely to achieve profits or losses similar to those shown. Please review the full risk and disclosures on my website before trading this or any strategy. So this is Jim's um, setup where he has the um, high and low and the um, open. I also have, I show the previous close, which is on without, with the new 24-7 trading methodology. The previous close is the, um, the current open becomes the previous close. Um, most of the time because that open will open at the previous close that's why if you're wondering and um, this is an excellent way to just formulate a look at the market because you can see when those are trading up or starting to trade down do you see that up 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 sideways 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 and then down so we've got our first down close. Now this could be a one or two bar down close in a new uptrend. We just don't know. That's why I also incorporate weekly daily 6015 to give me a bias in the market. So I will be looking for this previous close up here to get taken out before I really want to get long in the market because we've already closed down one lower. So I'm really not going to be looking for longs until I get above that prior close. And I use Hike and Ashy to help me with my trading decisions, which is a phenomenal indicator. It's a standard ninja indicator. And it allows me to, to smooth out some of these um, false signals. Um, there's many false signals that this strategy will give you where that it goes up and down over the linear regression, like right here, just up and down, up and down, up and down. Hike and Ashy will smooth this out on its own and allow me to stay with a consistent pattern um, and avoid being whipsawed. So I would stay long instead of being up and down, up and down, up and down. And so that Heike Nashi will immediately smooth out some of that chop. Bloodhound is wonderful 
in that um, you can um, take that Heiken Ashi and extend it um, further for when the trade is actually taking place. Um, so the basis of his Jim's strategy is to take trades when the low or the high is at a current day high or low and that linear regression crosses that eight and as you can see there are some great trades with this but there's a lot of false signals okay there are a lot of false signals so that's why he's asking people to help him trade this and I hope I can give him a little bit of help right away with just quickly modifying this uh, very very simply modifying this with Bloodhound that's why Bloodhound is wonderful to have so you can add a hike and ashy requirement that will take out some of these um, false signals but like this is a false signal it did not get rid of this one so you still have some false signals but otherwise it really smooths out and here's some false signals so what bloodhound allows me to do is get rid of those false signals if I further extend the signal for when the hike and ashy bars in that direction so I can take that original signal and extend it out to when the Heike and Ashi bar catches up to my signal through an extension. So I just throw that signal. I got a signal in the market, but instead of executing right then on that signal, I say I want the bar to close in that direction and I don't extend it out like 50 days or anything like that or 50 bars or 20 bars don't be ridiculous but I can do three or five bars I can say I want my signal and then I will allow price to catch up to my signal and that gets rid of all these false signals that you originally got in the market all these false signals are gone with this system just by smoothing it with Heiken Ashi. And what Heiken Ashi does is it takes that um, prior high, low, open, and close for your two bar period and it shows you, it paints the bar between that open and close of that two bar period and you got your high and low so it it's a fantastic Japanese system of trading um, and um, you um, can rely on these body changes so once that body turns around and prints in your direction, that's when you know to jump on that trade, especially at a prior close. Um, so I incorporate, incorporated that into the strategy as a condition, and I get rid of a lot of extra extraneous signals, okay? So you can trade the strategy on its own the way I have it filtered, to get some great trades or you can require an additional filter of that prior close to be triggered for a trade permissive and get even better results in my opinion I mean they're not all going to be perfect but the ones that are triggered really seem to work out well this one you had to wait <laughs> you know sideways 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 it didn't work out immediately so they don't all work out but tra nothing in trading ever does so you can have both the um, short-term signals to take your scalps on 
but be aware of when those longer term opportunities may present themselves for a longer term move. And that's what I like because it coincides with my strategy of weekly daily 6015. He uses a linear regression and I use an EMA on the higher time frame to get me in as a permissive and he uses the linear regression. So I can have you know a chart up with his linear regression and be monitoring that with my higher time frame trend and hopefully with the two come up with some fantastic trading opportunities for these markets so um, I'm definitely going to be adding his system to my strategy I have taken his original system and which is a great idea if you can catch one that works out and have put my own spin on it with these Heikinashi and then extending that Heikinashi out to be able to capitalize better on that trade opportunity you know sending that signal out to allow the market to catch up to that timing and then I can add a second filter to require that that execution occur around a prior close as the place that you want to get in for that trade and then if you use this in conjunction with your momentum knowledge that I've taught you when you see that you've got a higher high but a lower high in momentum and you get one of these filtered signals I mean that's when you're going to be piling on the money right you're just going to be pouring your money into shorts right here to take that trade down um, you know and part of trading is is like I will always take my trade off at a prior higher low because that's just breaking through it is just a very low ball um, trading opportunity as you see here we got to the prior low broke through it a little bit did the stop run and then turned around but it quickly adjusted and went back through so if you see a second uh, entry short breaking a prior low on one of these great setup signals go with it I mean why not extend that's when you add when it comes back to your um, lower time frame and I would be trading you know this on a um, maybe a two minute or a five minute chart when it came back to your uh, moving average or whatever is your execution entry is after you've gotten your signal that's how you add on to a trade or get back in and position yourself to take these trades so this is Julie oh by the way I'm sorry this is going back up we broke above the prior close which is a good sign the body closed above the prior close but we're sandwiched between these two closes we have a lower close than the previous close and even though we have a weekly daily 6015 that's all green I am not going to take a long in the e-mini until we get above this 2041 this is like in a no man land for me this is probably going to be just choppy crap in here so be careful this is like the, the no no zone coming into Monday. Okay, be careful. Only take longs if it breaks out above that previous close uh, for a safer uh, trend continuation. Otherwise, be looking for the market if it continues with your momentum uh, inverting back down below zero, turning back down, and it breaks this line here. I would be going sell 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 okay this is Julie J auto trading strategies y'all have a blessed weekend thank you